The very first rocket ship designed to take tourists into outer space over New Mexico rolled out of its factory today. The unveiling of Spaceship Two took place in the Mojave, California area, and as Bob Martin reports, this new spaceship was also christened with a new name. The new rocket ship was mated to its mothership Eve, the giant twin-bodied jet that will carry the spacecraft to more than 50,000 feet up before setting it free for the fiery ride to space. Virgin Galactic owner Richard Branson immediately christened his new rocket ship Enterprise, not only honoring an imaginary TV starship, but other craft that have for centuries carried adventurers and warriors. Enterprise would carry two pilots and six passengers more than 60 miles up for about five minutes of weightlessness and gazing back at Earth. Each ticket is $200,000, but once a year, a free one will be given away to someone in New Mexico. Before Enterprise carries any passengers over New Mexico, Virgin boss Branson says it will undergo lots of test flights over California. Before we actually send anybody up, um, especially my children, since they're going in the first flight, you know, we will have tested this space rocket um, many, 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 many times. And we want to be absolutely sure that anybody flying on Virgin Galactic gets a return ticket. The runway Enterprise and its mothership Eve will use in New Mexico is quickly taking shape. Nearby, construction of a $32 million terminal is also about to begin. Virgin Galactic hopes to make the modern space hangar home to a small fleet of spacefaring vehicles. Enterprise should arrive in New Mexico sometime in 2011. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13. Virgin Galactic says it will begin ground test of the Enterprise tomorrow. The first flight tests are scheduled for next year in California.